Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pyre. I am Curly, and with me is... I am Jan! That is Jan! Yay! He's my favorite. <gasps> I heard you whispering! You're my favorite, too. Aww. Okay, we're, so we're doing some vocations. Um, mm -hmm. We just don't know what. Mm. Probably. We never forge for resources, say, in private. Global we probably need to train somebody. Mm. Who do you want to train? No. Tizo? Uh, probably, considering we still haven't surpassed his freaking scribe trial. Yeah. So, maybe we, yeah, give Tizo a thing. Yeah. It's right. also Bertrand's new as well, so. Yeah, screw her. <laughs> Oh, she doesn't really care about leaving the, the downside, though. She's got a lucrative business here. Skyhook! Tizo is more than pleased to hear you tell him of the rights. Tizo gains a somewhat stronger grasp of how to better pass the celestial orb through strength of will and trust in one's triumvirate than through dexterity alone. He nods in understanding. He doesn't have a knack. He does. No, no, no. Oh, Tizo gives thanks to Haub the Swallow for watching over and protecting him. Yay. <gasps> She's a mastery for Tizo. All so right. we just bumped him up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then his adversaries, Tizo turns to a fast-moving howler, or back. If fast, Tizo drops an improved moon sign. That boosts ally speed and stamina. Wow! Mm. I like the idea of boosts. That I wish I went this way. Oh, why I went this way? I don't way. think we checked what the what the final option was. Yeah, we kind of just looked at the first ones. I didn't realize you could check them because they're gray. I normally don't even try to touch something that's grayed out. Actually, that's... Hmm, I don't even need to learn to use that one. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. Okay. Wouldn't banish. Why were we threatened by the Howlers again? Because they're... Why are they in one? I have no idea. I think that maybe they just like, maybe it's just like a sandstorm where it's like, oh, sand is inconvenient, but it like, it does so much damage to your house that it's like, fuck. Maybe Howlers like eat the wagon. <laughs> maybe they just like nibble on it and shit. Hmm. Mm, okay. Mm. Um, I can just do this one. Sweet. <laughs> Tizo expresses fascination with the stars and their relation to the rights. All right, Tizo. I'm yeah, glad. it's all magic, dude. We have no idea how it's working. Okay, I guess continue our journey. Oh, right. I remember where we're going. We're going to the Isle of Kelmir. Kelmir, Kelmir. His name we have never learned to pronounce. So if, um, if our lovely friend, the, the voice... Oh! <gasps> A messenger imp with news and rumors from the other side comes huffing toward your wagon here in the boundless waters of Deathless Tempest. <gasps> hmm. You let it in and offer it some light refreshment, as Ruki would have done. The imp's message turns out to be about him. You learn Ruki's past transgressions have all been forgiven since his return to the Commonwealth. He was even offered a well-appointed home and place of business. It must have represented just the kind of lavish lifestyle that Ruki always claimed to have had for himself and his extended family. Eventually, and somewhat reluctantly, however, he refused these gifts. Instead, he tracked down Wilfred's agents and gave them ample information, thus emboldening their ranks. The last bit of the message sounds as though it was transcribed word for word from something Ruki said. It simply reads... Go ahead. The rest of you better get back here soon, or else. <laughs> you 
You thank the messenger imp for the report. Soon, it has all your companions talking. The days aren't quite as bright without him, though, so though sounds like he's doing well out there. Don't you think he must be sad to have turned down a house? I hope he isn't sad. Hard to believe he would have turned down living in that kind of luxury. Though maybe he got used to it out here. Ah, the noble rookie. He sets a shining example unto us all. We understand this rookie holds no small degree of influence, at least among his kind. Ha, cree! Tizo is happy to have learned that Rookie joined up with the revolution in the Commonwealth. That was fun that I just did like five characters in a row. The news of Rookie's liberation fills you with determination. <laughs> Hell yeah. The news of Rookie's liberation fills you and your fellows, your fellow exiles with newfound resolve. Everybody gains. Oh, the messenger imp accepts some scraps to eat from you and rushes off. What Goodbye. were you going to say? Oh, I was gonna say everybody gains. Everybody better gain a, a hope for the next right. Yay. Hell yeah! Wish rookie luck. Wish rookie luck. Aww. Yes, um... one rocky dog. Your wagon shudders to a halt at the Isle of Kalmyr. Bizarre outcroppings give it a forbidding feeling. In the distance, you hear odd gibbering noises that sound like drive hips. Okay. Oh, yeah. And they mentioned that, like, the natives of the downside are born here. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, let's... <laughs> Whoa, guys, how'd you find me all the way out here? I mean, this is for extra special customers. <laughs> I'm only joking, only joking. You're the only customers I got. I thought so. <laughs> got you again, only joking about that, too, huh? Because I got tons of customers. It's just... They already bought a lot of stuff today, so they're not here, okay? Anyways, I just got in a little something here, which maybe you'll be into. Been hearing about these little numbers for a while. Check them out. He Ooh. reveals to you a set of twin rings, a jeweled band, and a ruined band. Okay. Thinking these things are supposed to be for a couple of lovebirds, know what I mean? <laughs> But anybody could probably use them, provided they was to buy, buy them off of me. The uh, I was gonna get them for myself, but uh, anyways, let me know if you want them. Okay. Let me know what they do. Yeah. Grants. Also, what's the pretty super shiny thing? In a second. Wait, what's super shiny thing? This one? The fairy thing. Yeah. Um. The fairy After Bear banish After Bear banishes an adversar adversary Aurora by Aura cast an aura burst may occur between Yeah. Anyway, read the thing. <laughs> Alright, so we got the two things. Jewel band. Grants the bearer plus your presence, plus your quickness, plus your hope. Set so bonus at the start of the round, briefly gain infinite stamina if an ally has the rune band. So and then it's the same thing on the rune band, so Oh, I like the sound of those. I don't know who we'd put them on, though, considering everybody has their specialized... I feel like these would just elements. be... Just throw them on whoever is there. You wanna yeah. buy them? I guess. We have money. Let's just... Are we making this commitment? Can we put one on? Because they're for uh, lovers, so we'll put one on... Um, Headwind? I'm just kidding. We won't actually do that. He's all for you. We don't even know who he's in love with. They better be a good damn person. If we go back and it's some like bitchy blonde bimbo and she's like, Ugh, Edwin, you kept me waiting. I'm gonna be like, no, 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 nope, nope. I'm just gonna walk over and pick him up like he's a fucking cardboard cutout. Put him over my head and keep fucking walking. So I'm doing business with you guys. So, uh... Okay, bye! What were you saying? Was I saying anything? Yeah, right as I started, uh... 
doing that line. Oh no. Technically. Ah, <sighs> do we want to try maybe going for another Teasel thing? Since we kind of upgraded him. If you wanna. Okay, let's just. She didn't want to talk to us last time, remember? Yeah, she didn't. Well, she I don't want to know talk. what's up with her. She's probably just pissy that she's stuck, and I feel bad for her, but anyway. I can sense you out there somewhere. What is it that you want? It is the least I can do in exchange for your company. You need but point me to who- blah, 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 blah. You need but point me to the one you have in mind. Alright, let's just- you think that imp shall fare better than before? <laughs> we soon shall see. Okay. <sighs> I need to sit up straighter when we do these. My back is killing me. Well, yeah, you sit on a. You're on a bed. You're probably not very. You don't have a lot of back support. Nope, none at all. Yeah, it's gonna be bad for you. Or I can just hover across these. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Poor Tizo. And Tizo can't, he can't like shoot his aura, he just, he, kind of just... he only has the explosive. Jeez. Oh. <gasps> oh. You made <laughs> one! You got one! I did it, I did it! You kind of have to wait till- yeah, you just have to keep doing that. Yeah, cause they'll just shoot Come on, me. guys, come get it! Oh, 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 oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn it. That's alright. Probably best if you drop it so one of them can grab it. Hit them. Hit them. Oh, oh. come on. Mm, so close. Two, one... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can you use those mid battle? What? Like, could you just jump into your little moon thingy? Yeah, I can. Ah! No, man. Damn it. You jumped on me. Oh, man. Okay. Ah, 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 shit. Ah. Oh, fuck. That was so It's close. so weird. Like, his thing just does not come back really quickly. No, because Tizo is a very small creature. He has, his aura is just not... There we go. Now at least that one guy is fucking, like, down. For the count. Alright. All right. Two more. Two more hits to their pyre. I can do it. And then chuck it. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, he's got it. Okay, well that's fine. Now one of them is, uh... Two more hits. Two more hits here, two more hits there. I don't know. Now one of them is... Hey, come here. Oh. Oh my god, grab that. God damn it. Yeah. Oh shit. That's so dumb. Oh. Damn it. That was stupid. Okay. If I can get uh, this. Get this bastard. No. <laughs> Just do this. Grab the, uh... Hey, hey, you wanna come over here? Wanna come over here? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. One more hit. They need two more on you. Oh, they need one more on you. You need one more on them. Okay. I cannot let them have any of these. Oh, God, no. No, 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 please, please don't. Please don't, please don't. Please don't! Mm. What the hell? No, we're doing that again. I don't care. Okay. No, no, go for it. Yes, we can do better. I don't care. Don't even talk to me, woman. <laughs> Shut up, Sandra! And we wonder why she doesn't want to talk to us. Hey, Sandra, you want to talk? No. Well, because she's a bitch anyways. She is a bit of a bitch. I'm sure she's having a hard time. 
Mm, excuse me. All right, Tizo. Let him take mm -hmm. it. And then boop his ass. Come Bitch, on. I'm gonna boop ya. Bitch, I'm gonna boop ya. Oh, you done got booped. Oh! Mm, okay. Shit. So this guy's almost just like explode. No, please don't. Yeah, why does he just not have a oh, thing? Oh. Because he is a. 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 a Thorab. Okay, oh. nope. Right, well, come at least on. he got on a different end. Mm hmm. Uh oh. You should have held out there longer. Shut up. Yeah. That's okay. Well. Oh. Oh no. It's not okay. I think it's the rule is that you're gonna have to die. But you're gonna have to make sure you die on their side. Can you just straight up sacrifice yourself on their side? I could. That's a very possible. Because hold out, hold out, and then jump in. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> holy cow, they are fast and Shit. okay well no he's got it Not enough time, no. <sighs> okay you're gonna you you don't have enough to balance this one out i don't have anything tizo you suck why do you suck tizo i like I you know, you're cute you. and adorable but god damn it you're the worst most useless creature in the world at least in this game okay his thing is so slow too Ah, Damn why it. does it not even come back? Like, it takes like th three hours for his little aura to come back. Seriously. Jesus. You know what? Okay, go for it. Because we'll restart. I, th it. I think what you have to do is just when they go for the orb, charge to their side and get yourself killed on their side. And then before they can get the orb across, Come back, block the guy who's about to drop the orb in your pyre. Oh. Look at that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, because now... When you beat this See, guy, like... Uh, it do you notice that yeah, how yeah. long it takes him for his aura to come back? Yeah, his aura has a warm up. That's really unfortunate. I don't know why. Like, can I make? Well, run, just run it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <sighs> like, maybe I have to learn how to implode myself, kind of run across there, just suicide bomb myself with these guys, and then like the. See? Then he kind mm -hmm. of explodes. Oh. Nope. Uh. Shit. That guy's fast. They're all fast. They're all the same people. A bunch of clones of each other. Uh. I thought they were Sandra's Beyonders. There. A little watcher. At least oh. we got an achievement. Mm hmm. Jesus <sighs> fucking. At least he'll be gone. infinitely. Just don't get killed. Nope. <sighs> Alright, cool. You probably can't run it in that amount of time. You should take it and throw it at them at the very least. At least she'll be back before him. Wait, lure him. Yep. <laughs> they are way too fast. Okay, if I can Explode. do this. Uh. Alright, maybe I can get this guy. Maybe I can get him. Nope. No. This, this is gonna be this episode. I don't give a shit anymore. It's okay. I'll cut out like the ones that we lost, maybe. Ha, huh, charge it, charge it, charge it. Boom. Okay. One more. You're cutting out, damn it. You can't, you can't handle all of them. Damn it. 
Sorry guys. Jan is having difficulties with his uh, connection. Okay. okay, okay, okay. No, please, go away, go away. You don't, don't touch it, don't touch it. Fucking piece of shit, babe. Hey, are you there? Hello. I think we lost a yawn. Pause. I'm back. Am I better? You're yeah, slightly better, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, we're recording uh, the sound through Discord. Okay, last mm -hmm. one. Do not even touch it. Good luck. Hello? Okay. I don't know if we have a yawn still or not. <sighs> there we go. You have to learn to treat the orb like your baby. Don't let anybody touch your baby. They try no, to no touch one is touching my baby. Don't you fucking touch my baby! Oh yeah, if you hang out over that and they jump into you, they can't touch it. Okay. Try luring. Boom! Ah, uh, never mind. I forgot there were others. You have to throw the orb at them. You have to let them think they can have it. I, of course, have no idea what any of the mechanics to this game are, so don't even listen to me. <sighs> Why? She's a scribe trial so hard. Okay. No, you don't. Please don't stop touching it. You don't fuck at me. I fuck at you. No. Oh, okay. It's basically over there, and he has to run it. So if I can do this, I grab this. Lure him. And then go here. Mm. <sighs> okay. 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 Love how you can hear it's like a gutter punch sound. If I can do this, and then. <clears throat> What? I killed what? him! He was jumping. I don't like the, the, the fact that jumping is a fucking defense. <sighs> Fuck that guy. You wanna go for it? You wanna... <sighs> Alright, you know what? Mm -hmm. We're ending this episode here. I'm just gonna beat this off uh, Off camera and then we'll show you guys what we got Because you guys know All what's right. going on. All right. Well, thank it. Thanks so much for watching. Oh You mean like the whole episode? Okay. Oh, yeah, we're ending the episode. Sorry. I didn't realize how much time that had been of actually nothing happening. Sorry. Yeah, this is gonna be a boring episode, but whatever it happens. Oh, it's okay. There was technical difficulties. Those are always fun. That wasn't too bad. Alright, well, goodbye everyone. Goodbye. Okay,